Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the Adventures of Arendale. Currently joining these friendly local Bretons to uh, take in a bit of cold, salty sea air here on this gray, dismal morning here on the western coast of High Rock. And uh, now that we've uh, had our share of chit chat with the locals, we will be moving on to the Crypt of Hearts, where lies the sixth piece of the Staff of Chaos. The chill of death seems to touch your heart as you gaze upon the stone walls of the Crypt of Hearts. Above the entrance stands a grinning skull, a warning to those who would traverse the halls of the dead. You can sense the sixth piece of the Staff of Chaos, somewhere below. You stand in the Crypt of Hearts, a world of darkness and death. The air is still, decayed with age, and the smell of sulfur pervades the air. A hot wind seems to be coming from around the corner to the south. Interesting. Okay. Well, we are well rested and well shielded. We should be in good shape for whatever appears here. Oh my. That is very cool. This brings to mind the dragon mural in Skyrim. But this, of course, <laughs> predates that by a great deal. In terms of the Elder Scrolls series and possibly in terms of the in-game lore as well. We have the two moons, Masser and Secunda, I assume, <laughs> and a rising sun. A dragon hanging out. Now I wonder if that could be meant to be Akatosh, or simply one of the dragons, which we never have a chance to meet in this game, unfortunately. Hello, skeleton. I think you would like to meet Mr. Fireball. Check our map again. Ah, uh, I think we have a secret door. Right over here. Ah. <laughs> and I'm going to mark this on the map. Dragon mural. I don't know if it's one of many we'll see or if it's Unique to only that one location, we'll find out. Another secret door. I suppose we should expect many of those here in this crypt. A strange, mysterious, and dangerous place, apparently. Watch out for lava, in addition to whatever monsters frequent this area. Power blast for you two. On the other side of the lava, <laughs> on the other side of the lava run, are temple walls with inscriptions that seem to twist your very thoughts toward baser instincts. The smell of death lingers in the hot air. Drums can be heard in the distance. Very cool. Ah, there we hear the drums. Perhaps we'll risk a little more light. In some ways, I hate to do that because it does take away the, the dark and creepy ambiance. But at the same time, I do enjoy seeing more of... Whoa! 
Hello there, a ghost. Oh my, it's depleted our magicka. <laughs> magicka or mana or whatever you want to call it, our magic points. Okay, I'm not... Oh, there you are. Good grief, you guys. Why oh, you gotta be such a pain? Luckily, my adamantium dagger can harm these types of spectral foes. Gotcha. Always fun to see these pillars. Another sort of architectural touches that the designers put in here. And, uh, well, I wish we had more magic. Let's use some restore power potions. Because I don't want to just rely on my dagger too much. Much more fun to use magic. Let's see if we can rest up here. Temple walls on the other side definitely do look interesting. Can't make out a ton of detail, of course. Um, I mean, that might be kind of a dragon motif or possibly a mythological bird of some kind, but uh, it's hard to tell with, uh, with these kind of pixelated graphics. Which, of course, as you may know, for better or worse, I have applied a graphics scaler that does do some smoothing of the pixels and sometimes to good effect, other times maybe not to the most ideal effect, but <laughs> I like it overall. Taking the katanas from these warriors. What do you think you're gonna do over there, hmm? Another warrior destroyed. And we will try to rest again. Hello. More of these secret doors. Thank you for revealing it, skeletons. You know, speaking of the architectural details, I do like these kind of carved faces in the walls here. They have an interesting look to them. It could just be a man's face, a human's face, long hair and a bit of beard, uh, but it does have a bit of an animalistic aspect to it, you know, almost like it could be a kajit, <laughs> some kind of cat person or, or someone with uh, somewhat animalistic features, I don't know. Well, we have most of our magic points recovered. 
we will continue our exploration. Hello, ghosty. Go ahead and stick with our trusty fire spell for the most part. You know what? It would also be wise for us to cast some spell absorption. Yeah, go ahead. Cast whatever spells you want. Give us more spell points. Thank you. Oh boy. Bunch of skeletons. seen this fountain sprite uh, at least a couple of times before I believe but not too frequently okay just mark this for fun I wonder if that was a hellhound trying to get us and it yep it killed itself those silly hellhounds Suppose we'll head back toward the lava. And yeah, we'll explore down that way for a while. It's interesting that the description implies that these carvings have some strange and kind of ill effect on our psychology. I wonder what the history of this place is. Who has used this crypt of hearts? And to what ends? We have chains and manacles hanging from the ceiling. It's definitely a bit creepy. The entire aura of this place is rather creepy and uh, also, feels like a place that might hold some secret power. Like this is uh, definitely not just a simple crypt. This seems to be much more than that. design here. And of course it makes sense that we're seeing a lot of skeletons in a crypt. Oh my, we have a body over there. Come on. And that statue. That's another one I like quite a lot. And this, oh my goodness. Three skulls. Forming a triangle with another triangle within. Very interesting, we've never seen this sprite before. Or texture, I should say. this as an altar for this, you know, uh, this object here basically seems like an altar. Blood dripping down, a recent sacrifice.
well. I'm going to take the daring step of destroying one of these profane walls. We'll leap over the lava again. Oops, that was not very good. Luckily, we didn't take much damage. That's actually kind of surprising. Eh, come to think of it, I've never really experimented with swimming in lava without protection from fire. Um, <laughs> how is it that it doesn't seem to be hurting me at all? Oh, that might just be because of my shielding. All right, well, let's not wait around for that to wear off. But that probably explains it. Hello, spider. So we might want to cast a fresh shield spell. Maybe rest for a bit. Get some more spell absorption going, just in case. Ah, so we do have a door right here. Farther south we go, deeper into the crypt. Hello, spiders. Sometimes it's good to hug the edges a little bit just to get the map a little more filled out. Allows me to get some details over here as well. Which is almost like cheating, of course, but uh, hey, it's a tough game in many ways. It's okay to have a few advantages here and there. Kind of a funny wall effect here. And in fact, if I'm not careful, I might get myself stuck. <laughs> oh good, I got out. Interesting. Those diagonal walls do cause trouble sometimes. Another corpse. You come upon a strange sight. Humans have evidently been killed, each next to a small, guttering candle. In the center of this bizarre sacrifice stands a closed crypt made of heavy stone. Okay, this is more than a little troubling.
Might there be any undead here worse than mere skeletons? Or perhaps sorcerers, mages, cultists of various types? Who knows? We did see a nightblade, some warriors, and, and a couple of orc warriors, I guess, and uh, not much else of note so far. Now in this game, I doubt anything happens if we try to touch that sarcophagus in the middle, but still, it's worth a try. I jumped too far. <laughs> well, sure enough. Doesn't seem we can interact with that. Sarcophagus. Well, in which way do we want to go? I guess I'll go that way. Interesting layout here. Goodbye, hellhounds. that I seem to be able to absorb their fire breath as well. I'm glad that counts as a spell. Magic points fully restored. That's beautiful. I could even play around with uh, spell reflection a little bit, I suppose. That, I suppose I have named Arendil's Mirror. There we go. <laughs> so. Oh, okay. Yet another secret door. I really do like the general look and feel of this place. It has a creepy dungeon to explore. It's pretty fun. A wraith here, hmm? So we are indeed vampires regenerating. I wondered if we might come across a vampire. You stand near a mausoleum. A runic inscription reads, Sir Colanthir, may he at last rest. The years seem to have rusted this iron gate shut. Even the ground is undisturbed. Your footfalls kick small clouds of dust that hang in the still, dead air. Please go ahead, try to cast some spells at us. Why don't you? Gotcha. Longsword. So long, 
fellow vampire. sarcophagus. Perhaps this is where that vampire would rest between its meals. But now it shall feast no longer. A foul vampire. And I guess we'll explore more of this region. who that Sir Colanthier was, what his life history may have been. Did he aspire to become a vampire, or was that a choice forced upon him? I guess it wouldn't be called a choice in that case. A transformation forced upon him. wall shenanigans, but I think I'll forego that for now. And we'll do our best not to fall in lava too much. spells. Look, Hellhound, you're tiresome. Time for you to rest. Forevermore, much like that vampire. Oops. Okay. Still avoiding the lava well enough. Okay, enough of that. Let's go ahead and levitate. Are we a mage or are we not a mage? Ooh. It is unfortunate that Levitating sometimes causes this uh, bumping effect against the ceiling. It would be even worse if the ceiling were lower, but already it's a little bit awkward. Hi there. So long, little puppy. It's funny to think how those hellhounds used to be a source of great fear to my character, but no longer. Time for a frost blast. So here we are, bumping our head against the ceiling. And if I re remember correctly, uh, while we're levitating, it, well, 
Okay, never mind. I was going to say, I, I seem to recall there are times when levitation might make it so you can't rest. Maybe that's... Maybe that depends on other details. <laughs> Come on. Away with you. And you too. we're not levitating anymore. But yeah, I seem to recall a time when I had noticed that I couldn't rest while levitating, but that probably had to do with other variables at play. Perhaps if it thinks you're levitating over water or lava, anything like that, then it might not let you rest. That would make sense. Nice courtesy to the player character. <laughs> it would be a bit unfortunate to wake up finding yourself drenched or engulfed by lava. Okay. northern area. What? You're still alive? A raised platform. Shutting a secret door. You are hilarious, Mr. Skeleton. And sure, let's go ahead and blast your bolt. Thanks for the dagger. Spells. Do you have any more? Many thanks.
to check out our loot, maybe drop some of the mundane items. Yeah, we don't need these plate cuirasses. Enchanted ring. We dare not put it on our finger. That can be dangerous business. I recently got rid of some of my potions. The ones for resisting fire, cold, and shock. I figure I don't really need those. Um, some of the other potions are probably a bit superfluous for us now as well. We really don't need much in the way of potions now, other than restore power and maybe healing for emergencies. It is nice to have the cure disease potions still, just in case. I could imagine some emergency situations where that's still good, you know, could be handy. And, uh, potions of strength maybe to be able to carry more stuff, but I suspect that's probably not going to be necessary. Oops. Oh, come on. And one annoying thing I discovered is when you're trying to sell or drop potions, it only lets you do them one at a time. That's really annoying. So be careful about that. If you're buying any potions that, uh, that you think, uh, well, I guess I'm just saying, you know, if, if you're buying potions, uh, don't stock up too much on any potions that you think you might not need in, in the long run. Uh, Cause yeah, they could be a little annoying to get rid of later on. Come on, give me some more spell points. Whatever. Fox blast for you. And for you too. Some more spells, why don't you? I should have kept them at a distance. So here we go. Thank you. check one location up here we kind of bypassed
Yeah, okay, I guess there's not much here. <laughs> Never mind. Now that we're here, might as well go around this way, go check out that fountain again, right down here. And on we go. Material here. Very interesting. Wonder what kind of earth or stone this might be. Is it naturally colored this way, or was it altered somehow? Who knows? Many mysteries in this strange place, and some of those mysteries Arendil might not want to have resolved. He might not like the answers. Okay, so we're back here. this spot. I'm being a bit more thorough than usual in my exploration because I suspect there might be some cool flavor text in various parts of this Crypt of Hearts. It's a very unique main quest dungeon. I mean, they're all very unique, I guess, but <laughs> I just somehow have a feeling about this one that it might have a bit more than a bit more flavor text that I might care about than some of the others. nice to find gold pieces on a spider. Strange as that may be. platform. Who's there? Hellhound? Come on.
destroyed himself. Arendelle's mirror. That should help. stand near the stairs leading down further into this crypt of the dead. A cold air gusts from the opening, bringing with it the smell of decaying flesh. Lovely. All right. Well, let's see. Is it worth it to me to explore a little bit more here? Okay, fine. Just briefly. Try not to make this too time-consuming. There might be some more cool stuff here. Hmm. Let's go ahead and just get some... Uh... Where is it? Resist fire. Let's get some of that going. So we don't need to worry about the lava taking away some of our shielding. At least I presume it should work that way. Nothing like a dip in hot lava. space here on this level that we haven't explored yet. Well, let's float around a bit. much to see or collect. That's 
sounds more like it. filled room. It's pretty cool. Okay, this is pretty much it. Okay, turns out maybe it wasn't really worth it to do that <laughs> extra bit of exploration other than, uh, you know, I mean, it was mildly fun to see some more of the layout of this place and see that lava-filled room and whatnot, but uh, not quite as exciting as I was hoping. No more flavor text. At least none that I found. So, down we will go. <laughs> Reflecting spells along the way. Corpses. Were they sacrificed or were they just dead adventurers? Adventurers whose luck had run out. Where did you guys come from? No matter.
Seems to be a ceremonial room of some kind, another sarcophagus, surrounded by lava. Do some vampires like that, almost like a sauna, perhaps? Go ahead, homunculi. Do your worst. Some of your spells should get reflected. shed some light on this situation. Okay, nothing to worry about.
Looks like a strange altar room up ahead. Oh, homunculus. What are you doing here? What strange ceremonies take place here? What kind of foul worship takes place before you? Menacing statue. Well, whatever. You and your Nord horn style helmet. <laughs> I shall leave you here. And let's see, is there much else to explore here? Maybe not. Still, kind of a cool place. Another altar. And on we go. My. Four bonus points. Okay, not too bad. We haven't saved recently, so I'm not going to bother going back, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and. Well, let's go ahead and bring luck up to 65. Why not? So with our items providing a boost, we have luck of 75. Looking good all around. Personality is still a little low, but uh, that's okay. That is not Arendil's priority, but uh, then again, it is good to have a nice personality, so we might work on that at some point. <laughs> Another race. Goodbye. Zombie. Yeah, we don't like you guys too much. So long. So let's see, our current level is 18. That's nice. Our spells are getting more and more powerful with every level up. Is it worth it to take gold pieces off of a zombie? I don't know. I think in real life, we probably wouldn't bother searching their bodies at all. <laughs> 
their tattered clothing. Wouldn't want to get anywhere near them. Carriers of disease as they are. All right. I think I'm ready to explore to the north a bit. So I'll check out this place. Hi there, spiders. Bloody altar, this time with no statue atop it. A lighter colored stone or metal with gems inlaid along the side. What function do the candles serve? Is this part of some kind of Daedric summoning ritual? Who knows? Seems like that could be part of what goes on here. Daedric summoning and state, uh, perhaps strange necromantic arts. It could be mages as aspiring to become powerful vampires or even powerful liches, who knows? So I'll get this map filled out a little bit more here. Okay. Yes, out of our way, please. now.
Okay, not much to see here. Just some haunted storeroom. I should say, part of me doesn't mind when dungeons have rooms and corridors that don't have a whole lot going for them because I figure, well, sometimes that's realistic. You know, you wouldn't expect every direction to lead you to something epic. Some areas are going to be more mundane. gone down here before, but I didn't go this direction. Okay, let's check this out. see that uh, strange temple wall texture being used here and there. Um, okay, my spell reflection is not killing this guy. So I better put this wraith out of its misery. There's a little passageway here that I don't care about too much, but here it is. And we've already seen everything up here. Fair enough. We shall head south. Vampire. Go ahead. What have you been up to down here? Your time is at an end. I can absorb and reflect any spells you cast at me. Do your worst. and a flail in a strange altar where hopefully no dark magic can entrap or curse Erendil as he attempts to continue his important quest. should be saving more often. I've been a little bit casual today for some reason. Hmm. 
interesting. This is a strange room. A statue surrounded by water. quite sure if this statue is meant to look like it's uh, just glimmering from reflected light off of water, for example, but it seems to be more than that, like it seems to be shimmering from some kind of enchantment, like it, like it has some magical power of some kind. I don't know. to get, ah, it's impossible to get just the right distance from it here. But yeah, is it coursing with some kind of magical power? Something kind of like electricity or whatever. Interesting statue. here. I guess we've explored this area thoroughly. Got you all. Floating platform. Now that's interesting. Okay, let's just check down here real quick. Hello. Yes, yes, cast your spells. It's 
really nice to be able to absorb spells. It's fantastic. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to recast that spell. Oh well. Got myself shielded up twice. Too bad it's not cumulative. So we've already been over here. Hello. Before going down, let's go investigate that floating platform north of here. Go ahead, cast some more spells. Come on. Much appreciated. I kept thinking that I was hearing like a foot stepping sound, like heavy thumping of feet, but I think it's the heavy beating of those wings of the homunculi. So is this going to be worth it? Hard to say. Yeah, some of these the ceiling is so close to the platforms that I can't really go on top of it. Is there any point to exploring all this? Who knows? Go ahead and levitate around and just kind of check things out. There may not be any treasures here. It might just be a place of strange magics. Where for whatever bizarre reason, it could just be experimentation. It could be a strange side effect of mages and Daedra playing with various planar powers. But in any case, we have these blocks of stone floating in the air for no apparent reason. As a matter of fact, it's starting to creep Arendil out, so uh, he's going to go ahead and just move right along. And we will head deeper into the Crypt of Hearts. A name that's almost too cheery for this place. You enter the third level of the Crypt of Hearts. The walls are covered with a sticky, foul-smelling, mucus-like substance. In the distance can be heard screams of agony. 
Well, that's very cheery, isn't it? Like I said, this place, my goodness. It should be called, I don't know, Crypt of, Crypt of Blood, Crypt of Skulls, something even more creepy than Crypt of Hearts, although I suppose, depending on how you interpret Crypt of Hearts, that could also be very crypt, uh, creepy. So, uh, let's see. Uh, let's make sure we got a fresh spell absorption going. And reflection, why not? Super creepy, I would describe there being a foul-smelling mucus-like substance in the walls. This place truly is awful. This goes even a bit beyond the general creepiness of most necromancers or your average evil wizard. Even your average vampire or lich, perhaps. Is it the work of some strange Daedra? With an odd sense of humor or odd sense of taste and decor. Like is some of this just aesthetic? for some Daedra, who knows. From somewhere comes the smell of sulfur, and along with it, a blast of hot air. Yeah, I'm getting more and more concerned about Daedric powers that Erendil may not fully understand, and perhaps may not be able to fully grapple with. We're diseased. Plague. Lovely. I'll cure that up real quick. Nothing quite like contracting the plague. some more spells, why don't you? <laughs> Come on, hit the pillar. This is ridiculous.
Overall, I am rather impressed with the ability to target any enemies that I click on with the mouse. You know, it, it works pretty well most of the time. That was an odd counterexample where that pillar seemed to be in the way, even though it shouldn't have been in the way uh, earlier when I was fighting against that homunculus. But uh, most of the time it works quite well. through this wall. Hello, ghosties. What are you doing over there? Looks intriguing down here. Hello. Goodbye, Mr. Skellington. Time to levitate. And of course, I love the way levitation evolved in Daggerfall and Morrowind. Fantastic spell. Being able to travel up and down to have more verticality in the game. That was a great feature in those two Elder Scrolls games, and they should have kept that in future ones, but oh well. In Oblivion and Skyrim, no levitation for you. It's kind of a pity. You know, it's not the end of the world. I still do love those games as well, but, uh, but that is one of a handful of decisions they made that I do think is rather unfortunate. From somewhere comes the smell of sulfur, and along with it a blast of hot air. Wow. This is quite the creepy place. Time to drop more stuff. Ah, 
I guess I don't need to hold on to these katanas. there were some kind of spell I could cast to cure this place of whatever evil influences might be here, but that's probably well beyond Arendil's power. We'll just do our best to clear out a few more of its unfortunate denizens. Find the sixth piece of the Staff of Chaos and then be on our way. sarcophagus. And more ghosts. More spells to absorb and reflect. Another ring. What was casting spells at me? Hmm, that was strange. This room here seems very significant, especially because I believe it's surrounded by walls that cannot be destroyed. Failure. Yeah, I can't destroy those walls. Is 
Is there more to this place than meets the eye? Well, I don't think so. <laughs> it's just a cool room. Or not so cool, depending on your perspective. <laughs> Hello, homunculus. Another interesting little room. Sarcophagus is an interesting word. If you think of the roots of those two parts of the word, I believe it might mean something like body eater. <laughs> Sarco might refer to body or corpse. I'm not 100% certain about that though, so don't quote me on that. But the phagus part, to phage, is to eat, basically. Or to be an eater of something. So I've already been here. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just been revealed because I was close to those walls. targeting issue with that one back there. There we go.
not much here. We can still chew our way through these walls, get back to where we came from, and explore a different direction. Because why not? through this wall. Go right to the stairs to the next level. Hello. this dungeon delving to go on too terribly long, so maybe we will forego fully exploring every level of the Crypt of Hearts. We'll go ahead and proceed onward. Wait, what did that say? These stairs seem to lead deeper into the Crypt of Hearts. Okay, yes. You stand in the tombs of heroes long dead. A low moan can be heard through these vaulted corridors. Interesting that we have these gratings here, these little barred openings. What is this place all about? Let's just go invisible, because I don't like dealing with those guys. Stone Golem. So. <laughs> yes, indeed. Very interesting.
Better go invisible again. Interesting place here. I think I'll continue taking advantage of these tunnels for a while. This is the area that I read a little bit about when I did a tiny bit of research before embarking on this quest. I read something about a section of one of the deep levels where well, let's see which one oops now let's see where do I want to save this For now, we'll just put it here, actually. Um, there's a section here where... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> well, there's a section here where you can apparently go beyond the bounds of the dungeon area. Yes, this seems to be it. Where somehow they neglected to put un or indestructible walls around the outer edge of this part of this level of the dungeon. So we can go out here. Ah, uh, it seems to not be letting me go. Ooh, if we turn around, suddenly all that stuff disappeared for a little while. <laughs> Very strange. Cannot camp. Well, I wish I hadn't have accidentally cast Levitate. I wonder if that's making any difference here. But I thought I should be able to walk out there. Very interesting. It can cause the level to disappear. investigate that a little bit more first let's go ahead and get rid, get rid of some trolls Hmm. 
Ah, uh, well. Yeah, we can't really seem to jump out there. <laughs> Very interesting. Fire Demon, or Fire Daedra if you prefer. Yeah, go ahead and cast some spells, thank you. Gotcha. Oh. Sure enough, we can walk out here and escape the normal bounds of this realm. We are in some strange plane of existence. <laughs> Boy, I wonder if we can go back. If not, we can reload a recent save. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay, okay. Ah, yes. We can get back in. That's pretty cool. So it seems I can't go out that way, but going north. Yeah, I can go north, but not... Well, once I go north the ways, I can go east then at that point. Very interesting. still see some aspects of the map layout. We can see where the tunnels are. Oh, come on. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, it's a little finicky with where it lets you walk, but that's pretty cool. We've been outside the bounds of the normal physical reality of this place. That's pretty cool. All right, enough fooling around. Let's press onward and hopefully that didn't generate any bugs. You know, anything that would somehow impact the rest of our adventuring here in this dungeon.
hate to think of how this place must smell or how it might even feel touching some of these walls and corridors. Interesting pit here in the middle of this room. It's kind of neat. But I assume there's nothing in there. We shall soon see. Nope, nothing to it really, as far as I can tell. from there. I believe we have a ghost barring our path. No more. The ghosts and wraiths can see us even when invisible, but I'm Grateful that the golems cannot. No way to detect us. Um. So yeah, we'll try to keep it that way. What if 
I cut through here. Oops. I still want to check out this area too, so we'll see what's going on. Let's, uh, Some more of that going. Not a bad stockpile. Okay. So yeah. Let's go ahead into this large room. That might be... Somewhere in here might be where our true treasure lies. The sixth piece of the Staff of Chaos. Quite an expansive room we have here. Okay, so we're probably we're meant to come in this way if we weren't using magic. gained these hallowed halls, brave fools who wouldst face the puzzle. There is a thing which nothing is, yet it has a name. It's sometimes tall and sometimes short. It tumbles when we fall, it joins our sport, and plays at every game. What then doth I speak of? I think I have an idea of what the answer might be. 
I have not looked this up, so I'm not sure. And if you don't want it spoiled, please do skip ahead a little bit. I think the answer might be luck. Think again, then speak with wisdom. Okay. All right. Guess I was not so lucky with my first guess. This will be a bit silly, a bit of uh, fourth wall breaking, but it wouldn't be player, I presume. <laughs> nope. Think again, then speak with wisdom. I think it might be shadow. Thou art correct, mortal. Proceed to thy fate. Okay, that was a tricky one. But I like a good tricky puzzle like that. So here it is. The sixth piece of the Staff of Chaos slides into the nearly complete rod like a sword into a sheath. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. So now the only thing to do is to get out of here. <laughs> I don't feel any need to do any more exploration. We have been here long enough. So we'll go ahead and carve through down there and get out of this strange and benighted place. heal up and rest up soon. Resting will also give us an opportunity to perhaps be visited by Rhea Silmane. Also, be visited, unfortunately, by Jagar Tharn. I guess all these walls can probably be destroyed. Nope. Oh, it doesn't let us get those corner walls. Okay.
Yeah, don't bother us, hellhounds. We're moving on through. Oh, we're not invisible anymore, are we? Oops, <laughs> I went way too far. What was I thinking? Okay. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of you. Not so many now. These guys can't see us, I believe. Cool. Let's try to rest here. Or maybe here. You have rejected my offer of everlasting life. Your list of accomplishments grow. You will not, however, accomplish the forging of the star. My forces are inexhaustible, and you will succumb. Prepare for my servants arrive. If you say so. Ah, these servants aren't so impressive. Come on. Check out the heart. I'm disappointed in you. I don't think much of you, but even you could do better than that. A couple of skeletons at this point? When I'm this powerful? Come on. Back toward the room with the dragon mural. Greetings, skeletons. You guys can't see me, but I still need to get through.
And here we have it. This beautiful mur mural again. <laughs> Very interesting. to do subtle movements in this game. Very cool. Just trying to get a good shot, a good screenshot of that beautiful piece of artwork. Okay, and now right around this corner is the way out. So perhaps we should rest once more. Farn is livid, scattering about the Imperial Palace like a rabid dog. You have caused him no end of worry. I am sure the wizard's minions are tracking you. I will say no more, lest I tend fate. You seek now the seventh piece of the Staff of Chaos. I have found that this piece lies in a place called Mirkwood, the dark forest that ever moves. There can only be one of two provinces left that can hold this forest, Black Marsh or Morrowind. I would start my search in one of these. Well, that is definitely going to be Black Marsh. So let's go ahead and get on our way. I don't know where in Black Marsh it might be. This is a portion of Tamriel of which both I, myself as a player, and Eärendil as a character are the least familiar. <laughs> Many interesting names for these villages, towns, and cities. The name Lilmoth sounds familiar to me. Well, presumably we would come here by way of ship. Perhaps we would first go to Soul Rest. And that's a name that sounds very appealing to Arendil right now, anyhow. The city state of Soul Rest, 63 days. Leaving the sounds of the ocean and surf behind, you enter Soul Rest. Inside, it seems as if a hush has fallen over the city, as if all inside are holding their breath in anticipation. Okay. Very interesting. We have some rainy weather. And we have the interesting folk of Black Marsh, the Argonians of this game. Kind of gray-skinned people. You know, we could imagine that they have some reptilian qualities. I think if you choose Argonian as a character type, or in other words, a citizen of Black Marsh as your player character, I believe you typically will have more of a reptilian looking face, but maybe they didn't bother doing that for all the NPCs. Anyway, pretty interesting stuff. And I think we will commence exploring this place more fully next time around. So for now, thank you very much. Please do give the video a like, subscribe to see more, and consider supporting me at patreon.com slash the drake. Many thanks to those already providing financial support, especially Aina the Khajiit, <laughs> a good friend of mine. And um, I really hope all of you listening or watching out there have a wonderful rest of your day. Be good to yourself and everyone around you. Make the most of your life. Try to make it the best that you can. And um, I will see you next time. <laughs>